what's up everybody? This is Josh Shazzy. Just want to say thank you to everyone who's been watching my videos, that's been posting and sharing. Feel free to keep posting those videos and sharing those videos. Just want to say uh, a big shout out to all those people who have been supporting my books thus far. Uh, for those who don't know, this is your first time viewing my videos or you heard about my book. My book is now on sale on Amazon. My first book is called Unplugged. You can get your copy right now just by going to Amazon.com. Type it in Joshua Ezzy. You can see the link on below this video. Click on that link. Get you a copy of this book. I talk about a lot of different things. Like uh, uh, one highlight is access levels. I talk about those people that deserve access to you. I talk about uh, sin. I talk about those deceptive things that comes to our lives. Keeping us plugged into this world system. Keeping us breaking God's commandments. Keeping us so caught up in... Uh, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and this pride of life, getting us so caught up in those things that when this world system crumbles, we crumble with it. So I talk about in this book those different things that will help us unplug from the world to get us into heaven. Because if you have any other gods before him, if you bear false witness, if you lie, if you cheat, if you steal, if you commit adultery, if you fornicate, if you habitually sin, you will not go to heaven. And these are what these videos are for, highlighting different components in this book. Get you a copy of Unplug. Go to Amazon right now. I'm sweating already. I ain't even started it, but go to Amazon right now. Type in Joshua Eze, E Z E, or follow the link below and get you a copy of this book. But let's get right into this video. As you can tell, <clears throat> the title of this book is called Porn and Masturbation. Or I don't know for sure. I might call it How to Overcome Porn and Masturbation. But right now, the title of the video is Porn and Masturbation. We're going to talk about, well, we're going to get right into it. Well, we all know that everything in this life surrounds seed, time, and harvest. We all know that everything has a conceptual stage. Everything has a stage in which it develops and also has a stage in which it manifests. A lot of people, when they counsel people or talk to people or desire to help people overcome things, they sometimes pinpoint the manifestation or the birthing aspect of something without taking time to look at when it was conceived. A lot of people look at fornication. A lot of people like, like to look at sex outside of marriage or they like to look at the homosexuality, like to look at something that we can see, but not, not uh, devising a plan or a strategy in helping a person understand when did this conceive. Lust is the, the conceptual stage to a lot of sin. It's pride and lust. And if we can tailor to the lust aspect or the conceptual stage of what is birthed in so many uh, homosexuals, it's birthed in so many uh, uh, strong desires for the distortions that's in our hearts as far as sex outside of marriage or this compulsive nature to embellish or to, to engulf into this sinful nature. When you think about porn and masturbation, it's the conceptual stage to many of what has been produced today. Satan knows that uh, the cycle the Bible says as the earth remains there will be seed, time, and harvest. <clears throat> and Satan knows that if I can get to the seed aspect of a person's life or at their uh, young age or whatever, I can distort and distort and lure that person to produce a lifestyle contrary to God's word. So what he does is, is that he loves to implement uh, images in a, within our environment. He knows that in a bad environment will produce bad habits, and out of those bad habits will produce bad cycles, those cycles that will continue to produce bad environments in other people's lives. So what he knows about the human brain is, is that the human brain receives images. He knows that the human brain is the, the greatest computer known to man <clears throat> in its ability to, to receive uh, images, words, to be able to save and download and process information so quickly. And what he does is, is if I can distort a person's mind through images to, to, to portray what he sees, then what he sees will get him into a situation where he is bound. Satan has a cycle in which he deceives us, and I'm going to talk about how he does it through porn and masturbation. <clears throat> it's called the bait, hook, and cycle theory that I came up with. What Satan loves to do, he loves to bait us within our environment with something that will compel us to bite on it. He loves to bait us with different different things within our environment, whether it's sex, whether it's uh, the, the depravity in a home, or the different images within our society to where we'll hook on it. And with that bay, he knocks on the doors of our lives, he, he, he knocks on our ears, he knocks on our eyes, all compelling us through our sinful nature to bite on something that he has formed within his world system. With that, now, once you bite on something that he's put into your environment, you now become hooked. The moment you become hooked, you become addicted. You become <clears throat> uh, 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 devoted. You become uh, compelled or, or you just become hooked. And after you become hooked, you begin to produce those cycles that was intended through the base part. 
porn and masturbation or porn or the images that we receive through looking at naked women and naked men, uh, <clears throat> for some people, it's the bait. That's why if you look at our society, you can't even search Google, you can't get online, you can't even uh, check your inbox on Facebook, you can't search the web or even step out your door without some type of image. Image to where he has made society so sexual, so I desire to be sexy, everything is form-fitting, everything is low-cut, everything is hot up. And with that in our society, those images paint a picture in our minds uh, 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 to tag or to launch onto that sexual desire that's inside of all of us. See what Satan wants to do, he wants to distort the sexual aspect of our lives. He wants to get us to, to in our immature stage to embark on something mature with the intent knowing that the mature thing breaks the back of the immature person. Now what he does is when we're engulfed within our society full of images, full of women with tight shorts or filled with men doing certain things and different things like that, then when we get isolated we're going to want to to, to uh, allow images to come into our mind to facilitate something that's not being facilitated. Each and every one of us have a desire to be sexual. Every one of us has a desire, God-given desire to, in, to, to, to have sex, to have the ability to release, the ability to masturbate, the ability to, to, to uh, do those things with a partner with, within the context of marriage. Satan knows that if I can get people 90% of the population actively practicing in something that's supposed to only be practiced in marriage, then what they're practicing now will distort their life. And what he does is, is when that sexual drive is being built up through images from the television, images from the internet, images from society, then it continues to fuel that, that desire, that lust inside of us to where we want to facilitate our sexual needs our sexual arousals and what he does is he loves to isolate us to where now porn is freely is, is, is free free streaming videos free images to, to facilitate <clears throat> that sexual drive inside of us now what he does is if I can heighten those sexual emotions if I can heighten sexual frustrations if I can make the person frustrated sexually then when they're isolated I can bake them with images to embark or to engulf into porn to get in, and to engulf into uh, watching videos to where now through porn I become mas I start masturbating myself not masturbating jacking off or or doing things like that because now the moment I continue to facilitate those emotions I become impulsive in my in my lust. Satan loves to bait us with different things that will push us or drive us to continue to fuel that lust. An engine with no gas won't get anywhere. An engine without oil will not go anywhere. And what he does is, the engine of lust that's within our sinful nature, he wants to fuel it to the point to where it becomes impulsive, that it becomes, it becomes uh, uh, rampant. Love has boundaries. Lust doesn't. And he knows that either one, whichever one is fueled the most, is the one that will dictate that person's outcome in their life. So if a person is bound by pornography or watching porn or masturbate often, it's a, it's, it's a strategic plan by Satan to get you so filled in lust to where what you do in your isolated situations is what you're going to be endeavoring to do with multiple partners or with this man or this woman. And then that lust branches off to the point to where now you have a route of homosexuality. Now you have a route of bestiology, whatever you want to call it. And then you have all of this compulsive sexual drive due to what you did in your isolated situations. Pornography and masturbation is the conceptual stages of what many of us are going through today. We, 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 we're engulfing ourselves with images and, we, and from that sexual desire that's built up inside of us, we want to latch on to something that continues to fuel that nature. Satan knows that I have to implement a system or, or a way of thinking, a way of life in a person's life so that they'll be on a cycle where they continue to destroy themselves. See, what he does is <clears throat> he bakes you with images. He baits you, he tempts you, he wants to lure you to your computer at lakes at night. He wants to lure you into a situation where you're isolated so that you will start thinking on how I'm deprived or I don't have no one to love me or I don't have this person in my life. I don't have a wife. I don't have a husband. I was molested at five and I was mistreated at six and I was uh, uh, raped by at this age. So now while in my isolated situation, the only way, the only person I can trust to facilitate what my hurts is on the inside is myself. And when you think like that, you go to the computer and you start looking at images to facilitate something within yourself. Now, everyone who ever masturbated or watched porn know for a fact that after you did it, you didn't feel, you didn't feel 
you felt satisfied for a moment, but you didn't feel whole. You don't, you didn't, you didn't feel like you was loved because you're doing something to yourself that God has had someone to do for you within the context of sex and marriage. Satan wants us so bound by pornography. He wants us to be fueled and, and, and sexually charge ourselves so that we'll be the ones igniting the fire and keep fueling that fire of other sexual sins. If we continue to, to, to allow these pornographic things into our life and watching porn late at night and masturbating, we'll continue to fuel the sins that we commit every day. We have to think to ourselves because Satan loves to bait us. And he wants us to be hooked through masturbation. He baits us through porn, hooks us through masturbation, and gets into the cycles of sexual sins. That's what he does. This video is tailored to those people who are dealing with pornography issues. I once, once in my life, had to go through a season where I was caught up in porn. I was caught up in masturbation. But today, I can tell you that I have been freed from it. This portion of this video is to help those, and if you don't have no problems with porn or masturbation, and you, you're holy or whatever, this part of the video is not for you. But this video is for those right now who's saying, Josh, how do I get out of this? Josh, how do I, how do I, um, how do, how can I be free from this? This is what this portion of the video is. A lot of us are unaware on how demons operate in our lives. They love to condemn us. They love to highlight those those depressing times in our lives. They love to get us so caught up on our hurts. They love to get us so caught up on our past that through those past situations or through those uh, uh, areas of our life <clears throat> where we're entertaining mostly, he knows that if I can get that person in an isolated situation and bombard their minds with so much depressing and condemnation, then that person from that environment of pressure and condemnation will go and want to facilitate themselves through porn or through masturbation. Now, this video is only for those for that, but there's a lot of other areas that we gravitate to instead of God. If you want to be free from porn, and what helped me was this. I'm going to tell you what helped me. What helped me was I began to ask God, I said, God, I cannot be doing this. And the reason why I was doing it because of depression, because of stress, because of isolation. And I started thinking to myself, if I continue on this route, if I continue on this route, then what I practice in my single life will overflow into my married life. Just because you say I do doesn't mean it stops your, uh, your uh, jacking off. It doesn't mean it stacks you, stops you from fingering with yourself. It doesn't mean it stops you from using toys. It doesn't mean it stops you from looking at porn. It doesn't mean nothing. What you practice, and I thought to myself, if I continue to practice this in my life as a single person, then I, it will flood over because whatever we allow to reside in our hearts, and our single life will birth within some aspect of our married life. And I start thinking about my wife. I said, why? Let me keep myself clean. Let me keep myself whole. Because what we have to understand is we are three-part beings. Our body gives us world conscious. That means through our five senses we have a consciousness of this world. Our soul realm gives us conscious of ourself. We have uh, six components of our brain. Now, six components of our soulless realm. That's our thoughts our memories, our perceptions, our ideas, our, our knowledge uh, bank, and our emotions. And within that soulless realm, we have a consciousness of ourself. <clears throat> our spirit man gives us conscious to the spirit world. It gives us a consciousness of God. And what we have to understand is, as uh, what helped me understand to get away from pornography, to get away from masturbating was this, is that I'm clouding my soulless realm. When I look at an image, <clears throat> I immediately have sexual thoughts. When I look at a certain video, I have a, um, it's already saved in my brain as a memory. So now as I go throughout my day, I'm reminding myself constantly of what I saw last night. And what it's doing is, it's giving me a false perception of other women. Now, when you're so in tune, or, or females, or when females are so in tune with the lust that's cultivated through the images of pornography, then when you, when you look at your brothers and sisters, or if you look at people in society, you're looking at their behind instead of their eyes. You're looking at their arms instead of their eyes. You start looking due to the images you allow to clog your soulless realm. Ideas. It gives you a false idea. It, it makes you want to cultivate different ideas on how to keep facilitating that lust. Pornography is, and masturbation is just the beginning. And with that, it's the engine that continues to fuel you, in some cases, to, to, to push you over the ledge to produce those sexual sins that you said you would never do. And then you give, it gives you a false perception 
uh, like I said before, and then it starts in, in your knowledge realm and in your emotions, it gets your sexual emotions so high to the point to where you operate your life out of sexual impulse and without reasoning through your brain. I'm going to pray for those people. I'm going to talk more about how to overcome it because what helped me was <clears throat> I started thinking about what does it look like in the eyes of God. When you're isolated at a computer or you're isolated in your room masturbating or whatever, we may be hiding it from your mom. You may be hiding it from your mom. I may be hiding it from others. But what the one person that is continuously writing down every idle word, every idle thought, and every idle action is God. The moment I began to think that, God, look, I need you to help me. Help me, help me in those areas that is causing me to want to facilitate this desire myself. Help me to <clears throat> through my depression. Help me overcome depression. Help me overcome my stress. Father God, give me the right mind to where I can handle these situations so that this environment won't put me in a position to produce these actions. Think to yourself today, how's your relationship with God? God is willing to be that band-aid that will heal those scars that's, that's putting you in a position that, that molestation, that, that rape, or that distortion that happened at that seed level that didn't give you the time to develop, that's causing you to produce these actions. God is there to help you, but you have to let him help you. Because you got to understand the devil wants you so fueled by these sexual images. Look at our world today. We're constantly being fueled with images. You can't, they can't sell toothpaste without showing the girls behind. They can't even sh uh, sell Adidas shoes without showing some aspect to ignite our sexual drives. Because people with a sexual drive that's constantly operating off their sexual drives will produce a, a, a society of people that's producing sexual sins. And you see how strategically the government and different people has put AIDS and diseases through the sexual form of our body. Knowing that if I can get the society so caught up on their sexual drives and they produce sexual acts, then they will be uh, putting viruses and diseases in each other, depopulating society. It's, 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 it's simple how Satan has strategically done it. Think to yourself today. Is it really worth it? For right now, I've been seven months clean, about, about six months clean since the last time I watched porn. Constantly thinking, say, God, you know what? <clears throat> How can I get myself out of this situation? God, keep me. What's those checks and balances? God will give you those checks and balances that will say, you know what? No, I shouldn't be on my computer watching these images. I shouldn't be uh, doing such and such. I, I need to start uh, getting in my word more. I need to do this so I won't be compelled through depression or stress to facilitate something like that. Now, I'm going to pray for those people <clears throat> that are saying, Josh, yo, man, I need to get out of here.